How's it going, everybody? So I'm here at Tall Timbers Research Station, and I'm in a pretty special place. These are the Stoddard fire plots. What I'm uh, standing in right now is a plot that has been burned every year during March, every year since 1960. So 60 years of burning in this. And uh, this grasshopper, I think, is a really good pivot point for us to think about what's happening in this community. So notice when you're looking around, you see all these grasses. There actually are not that many forbs and almost no woody plants in this community, so not many trees. There are some that are re-sprouting, but this kind of structure with all this bare ground in here is really important for a lot of birds, things like quail that we're also interested in. And we see a really high productivity of insects like this grasshopper right here that are important food sources for those species. So now I'm in the two-year fire return interval. So every two years since 1960, this, this plot has been burned. And I think it's a, a great example for you to see long-term how does changing the fire return interval change things. So remember in the other one, we had a dominance in, of grasses. We still have plenty of grass mixed in this plant community in this one. This has been the same time since fire. They're both 10 months since they were burned. Just one has two year return interval. The other one is burned every single year. Now we have forbs that are coming in. Of course, this is the dormant season, so you can't see the leaves on that, but that's showy partridge pea right there. We're also starting to see some brambles move in. So we have blackberry kind of popping up and a few woody plants uh, popping into this community. There's a little less bare ground, but still relatively high uh, insect production like the other one and we're getting some seed production from these forbs that are important for some of these bird species. Okay, now we're in the Stoddard plot that's a three-year fire return interval. Again, we're only 10 months since this has been burned, so not even a full year that plants have had to respond to being burned. We still do have some plants in the that are similar to the other community. We just have far less species represented, so we still have a couple of grasses but much more dominated by woody plants. And you're starting to see things like the sweet gum and water oak that are colonizing the site. They're able to per persist at, at least as a much higher component of the structure. And in a place like this, we are starting to get some, some uh, bare ground again, but it's because shade is uh, starting to do this. It's not because of the same collection of plant characteristics and you know, insect production that's probably quite a bit lower for something like a quail that's, that's trying to eat insects for uh, some of their life stages. So uh, seed production in this probably not quite as high either. So we're already, by just having a three-year in interval in this longleaf system, it's already getting toward the, the boundary of how long we would want to have bef between fires occurring. And this is why, because that structure changes so quickly. Now. There is some value to having this kind of structure, and we can talk about that for other species, uh, having this in some places. But uh, the majority of the area in longleaf, we probably want to lean towards those more frequent fire return intervals. Appreciate you tuning in. Uh, stay tuned for more information.